Welcome to the video tutorial for shading and views. In this video you will review the shading modes available in Visual and learn how to save views of your lighting design. Shading modes change how the surfaces of your model are filled in. There are four shading modes available in Visual. Wireframe view allows you to see the outline of all luminaires, planar objects, and solids. The line color of objects is controlled by the type of object or sometimes the layer the objects are on. Wireframe mode can be disorienting sometimes as it can be harder to tell what objects are in front of others. However, wireframe mode can be used to great advantage when you are trying to select objects, especially objects internal to your model. Transparent view fills in surfaces, but all the surfaces are see-through, a glass house view. This allows you to see the volume of the model, but still see through the walls to the surfaces within. Shaded view fills in all surfaces with their normal opaque or transparent material. If you are outside your model, the interior of the model is obstructed from view. You can make the inside of the model visible from outside while in shaded mode by clicking dollhouse. Dollhouse mode will automatically remove the surfaces that face into your model, allowing you to see through them. With dollhouse on, as you rotate around the model, the would-be blocking walls are automatically removed so you can see into the model from all angles. Dollhouse only removes surfaces whose primary surface normal is facing away from the current viewpoint, so it is important to construct your model with this in mind if you think that you will need this feature. Rendered view allows you to see the photometrically accurate distribution of light on surfaces. In order to use the rendered view, your design has to first be calculated and rendered. Dollhouse mode can also be used in the rendered view, except that it will not remove any rendered surface only surfaces that receive no light. The default rendered view shows surface colors with their relative brightnesses adjusted appropriately. Most of the time this is the shading you are interested in. Visual allows you to view the calculated results in a few other useful ways using the display button on the calculations tab of the ribbon bar. If you select grayscale you can display the entire rendering in grayscale removing all the color from your surfaces. This is useful when you want to compare relative brightness levels across surfaces that may be different colors. If you select brightness, brightness shading is used as pseudo color or rainbow palette to display relative brightness levels in your model. This mode displays the direct results of the luminance to brightness mapping algorithm without applying any gamma correction to the values. This type of shading is useful to find hot spots in your design and make sure that areas of high brightness are where you expect. Selecting a luminance shading uses pseudocolor to display the illuminance values on the rendered surfaces. A key showing the illuminance levels corresponding to the various colors will be displayed in the lower left-hand corner of the design environment. Selecting accident shading shows the amount of light leaving each surface using the pseudocolor palette. Selecting luminance shading shows the diffuse illuminance on each surface using the pseudocolor palette. Save views remember the camera position, rotation, display mode, and layer settings of the design environment. Save views can be added to the print editor layouts, allowing you to add model images to your report that will stay current with any model changes. Views are typically used to save images of your model for output, but are also used to save points around your model that you would otherwise have to navigate to frequently. To save the current view, click on the Views button on the Home tab of the ribbon bar, then click Save View. The saved view will now be displayed in the gallery. You can now navigate away from the current view and then return to it at any time by selecting it from the View Gallery. All saved views as well as the current view will be available in the Print Editor. If you no longer want a view you saved earlier, you can delete it by clicking the Views button, then View Manager. From here, you can delete Save Views from the gallery. Under the Views button, you can also select Save View to a File. This allows you to save a current image of your design environment to your hard drive. You can save the image as either a JPEG, a PNG, or a bitmap file. The saved image will be the same pixel size as your design environment. This concludes the video tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, contact support at visual-3d.com.